Okay, so in less than 24 hours, I have my last medical school exam ever. If you follow me for a long time, you know my name is Eric and I'm a final year MBBS student from Lahore, Pakistan. So let's put things into context. I started my medical school back in 2015 in Lahore, Pakistan and our medical school final exam is supposed to be conducted by the end of 2020 because medical school is 5 years in Pakistan. But due to the pandemic, our exams got delayed for 4-5 to five months and now it is almost the mid of 2021 and we are going through our exams. There were total 11 exams out of which I am done with the 10 exams that all led to this final moment which I am having my exam tomorrow which is my last exam. So as I am preparing for this exam in the last 24 hours, let me take you through you know what I am doing in the round up to that exam and talk about what I am studying, how I am studying, what I am doing, kind of documenting this whole thing. So in terms of what are the goals for today, there are three things I need to get done with at least for my final exam tomorrow. The first one is to go through the bedside techniques book which has all the bedside techniques and examination procedures and protocols. The second one is to go through OSCE mock test, all of that which is objectively structured clinical evaluation test questions because I have OSCE tomorrow as well. And the third one is to go through MacLeod clinical examination videos. I have all of those videos in my laptop. I have to watch all of those. So this is the bedside technique book and in it I have to go through cardiovascular examination, then respiratory examination, then GID examination and CNS examination. These four systems are the main examination systems I have to cover today and these are kind of the McLeod examination videos I need to go through. And finally these are the OSCE mock test. These are simply images which show a particular disease and here are the questions and here is the answer to those questions. It will be a revision and review kind of study because I had already gone through the bedside technique book once. I have already done the mock test also and I have gone through the blood examination videos beforehand. Now I am just reviewing and going through them one last time before my exam tomorrow. So yeah, let's get started. So I am done with three systems, cardiovascular, respiratory and gastrointestinal system are done. I am losing a bit concentration at the moment so I think I need to get a coffee first. Let's get a coffee. Coffee is here, now I will drink coffee and I will explain you what our exam is going to happen and how it will look like. It's a clinical viva OSCE exam of 300 marks in total. We will be given 4 patients on which we have to perform relevant examination of 4 systems which are cardiovascular system, respiratory system, gastrointestinal system and central nervous system. Each examination will be of 30 marks and it will make 120 marks in total. After that we will be given a case which is called as long case and these examinations are called as short cases. In the long case we will be given a patient uh, in it we have to take the history complete examination and after that the examiner came to that specific bed of the patient which we are assigned and we will perform all the relevant examination we give viva related to the disease of that patient that long case will be of 90 marks so 120 and 90 make 210 marks and the rest of the 90 marks are of OSCE examination there will be different stations of different disease uh, there will be a paper placed on different station. We have to go to that station, uh, flip the paper, we will see the diagram or the question, and have to write answers related to that questions on our exam sheet. Uh, that uh, OSCE exam is of 90 marks, so it will make a total of 300 marks. It is considered as the toughest exam in medical school because you have to pass individual four examinations 
in short cases then you have to pass individually the long case and you have to pass the first key so you cannot fail any of the component in this whole examination if you fail any of the examination or long case short case or first key you have to take the whole exam including the written marks which we have already taken so 200 marks of the written exam and 300 marks of the viva post exam make a total of 500 marks nobody fail the written part of the medicine exam but the viva post exam is tricky as i heard from the upper class men many student fail that exam just because of luck because you will go through three to four examiners and if any examiner fail you you are just fail overall in fact you just failed a one component a one examination but you just have to go through that whole examination system again often times we think we are in control of these things but what we are in control of are our own actions which is essentially putting the work in we just go in and do what needs to be done perform the relevant examinations answer the viva questions present your case and you are done and you just come out so that's enough chit chat of a mini break session now i'll go through the mclod examination videos and oski mock test after that i will cover the cns examination let's quickly wind up the revision you got me this so shit i'm so high i open no shit you take me to a safe place we said the on a safe place yeah i'm crazy you like that don't back down no you drop back keep it spicy there's a fat fat we on a right try yeah Driving me wild, giddy up like a stallion Saddled up and ride you, we crossing the line like a champion Driving me wild, giddy up like a stallion Saddled up and ride you, we crossing the line, we some champions We know how to make it rain in the bedroom We don't need a club, got our own booth Coming at the same time, yo man i am done i am seriously so so done right now i have done all the mclod examination videos i have done all the oski mock test just cns examination revision from bets and technique is left but cns is my strong point so i will do that later time i don't mean i'm just going to eat something anxiety kicking in at the moment it's about 8 pm the night a few hours left Just let's eat him. To be honest, at this time of the hour, nothing can make me feel okay except good food. I'm a really stressed eater. I eat a lot when I'm having stress, which is building at the moment because it's almost 9 p.m. So I ordered pizza. It will come like in five ten minutes. I feel so messed up right now. I feel so stuck in here and in these exams. There are a lot of things I need to do. I need to travel. I need to eat out. It's almost one year now. I haven't eaten out. Before that, it was pandemic, and now it's exam season. There are a lot of videos uh, which I have shot uh, before my professional exams, and I just have to edit those videos and upload on YouTube. was a lot of videos related and i am just stuck in here preparing for exams the closer you get towards the fear gets to be honest it's uh, a prediction from game of thrones it really applies at the moment uh, i think food is almost here i just get the food eat it then i'll talk to you mommy make you rain in the bedroom we don't So it is almost 9:45 p.m. in the night, and I'm done with eating pizza, and my dinner is completed. Now I will quickly go through the CNS bedside techniques. Hello, hello, dirty hello. So I'm done with all of my necessary preparations which I needed to do. To be honest, at this last hour you cannot do anything else. And the thing that will benefit me tomorrow is the preparation I have done all the year and in two to three months beforehand. Now what I am doing is just speculating what the exam will be like tomorrow. What I have seen in the past years, there will be like four patients of four systems. One patient will be from cardiovascular system, one patient from gastrointestinal system, one patient for 
respiratory system and one question for central nervous system in cardiovascular system they would be asked me to check the pulse of the patient and when i will check the pulse they will take my viva on pulse for that different types of pulse what is the different rates and rhythms and volume of different pulses and all of those questions related to pulse or either they will ask me to auscultate the precordium which is the heart area of the heart if they ask me to examine the precordium then they will be asked me about different types of murmurs a murmur is an abnormal sound produced by the heart when blood flows through different valves of the heart there are four valves we need to remember the first one is between left atrium and left ventricle which is called as mitral valve the second one is between right atrium and right ventricle which is called as tricuspid valve uh, we learned this in high school or in fsc2 the third one is between right atrium and pulmonary trunk which is called as pulmonary valve and the fourth one is between left atrium and the aorta which is called as aortic valve so whenever these valves close they produce sound the mitral valve and tricuspid valve when they close together they produce the first heart sound which is called as lung and when the pulmonary valve and aortic valve close together they produce the second heart sound which is called as lung valve so uh, any sound which can be produced from the heart can be because of the pathology of these four valves so what the pathology of valve will be either the valve get narrower which is called as stenosis or the valve get bigger which is called as regurgitation so it will be mitral stenosis mitral regurgitation tricuspid stenosis tricuspid regurgitation pulmonary stenosis pulmonary regurgitation and aortic stenosis and aortic regurgitation so these will be the possibilities so they probably ask me what are the systolic murmurs and what are the diastolic murmurs so i will just put the diaphragm of my stethoscope in the chest and my second hand on the carotid pulse uh, those murmurs that are here with the uh, carotid pulse those are systolic murmurs and those murmurs which are heard after the carotid pulse are diastolic murmurs this is the simple concept of that now to remember the names of these eight pathologies what are systolic murmurs what are diastolic murmurs i just uh, remember the mnemonic which is dark D A R K D for diastolic and A R for aortic regurgitation. It means, but uh, aortic regurgitation and pulmonary regurgitation both are diastolic numbers. And opposite to these regurgitations are the stenosis. So, uh, mitral stenosis and tricuspid stenosis are uh, diastolic numbers. These stenosis of the tricuspid and uh, mitral uh, valves and uh, regurgitation of uh, aorta and pulmonary trunk. these four are the diastolic murmurs and opposite to these the stenosis of aorta and pulmonary stenosis and mitral regurgitation and tricuspid regurgitation are systolic murmurs so the, this is the way i remember it very quickly because you know know the concept but when they ask you on point that name those what are the systolic and what are the diastolic so it, it will help me to recall and just quickly answer them very well so in cardiovascular examination this is probably i am expecting for tomorrow in gastrointestinal system they probably ask me to palpate the liver or palpate the kidney palpate the spleen of the patient which is easy i think that will not be an issue in the respiratory system they probably ask me to check the chest expansion and there may be a patient of pleural effusion or uh, pneumothorax I mean, pneumothorax is very emergency case so they mostly place the patient for pleural effusion in cns they probably ask me to check the lower motor examination of the lower limb that is very easy to do i have done it countless times check that tone power muscle of the lower limb reflexes tendon reflexes superficial reflexes yeah, all of that stuff so uh, these four will be the sessions i am assuming in the longest they probably give us a case from stroke or cns chapter it will be either meningitis or stroke case or subarachnoid hemorrhage case uh, i am expecting from these three cases or maybe a case of diabetic nephropathy so after short and long cases we are left with the oski in oski i don't know what type of question will ask because there is so much content in oski that can come but i am feeling hopeful at the moment so let's just quickly pack the bag and put all the necessary equipments i need to do Uh, iron the overall the uh, formal dress the shirt the tie all of that stuff then just go to sleep uh, i have this stethoscope here on my table 
so this stethoscope ppa british thermometer tandem hammer all of that stuff i have already placed those in a cupboard so let me just quickly put that in the bag and prepare for tomorrow i'm a main squeeze don't get it twisted there's a problem we gonna fix it this ain't the type of thing you lose and let's keep on doing what we do mm. driving me wild giddy up like a stallion saddle up and ride till we cross in the line like a champion So guys, this let's call it a day here. I'm very excited and hyped at the moment. Just let's finish the final exam tomorrow and done with the medical school. Subscribe to the channel to follow my journey from being a medical student to a doctor. See you in the next one. Bye bye. You got me exclusive. I'm so high, I up and lose it. You take me to a safe place. We set it on the same base, yeah. I'm crazy, you like that